So today we'll be learning how to draw a 3D city. And um, first step, it's, for, it's from an aerial view. So the first step, you always want to begin with the dot, as I've drawn. And the dot is your center point. It's your point of reference for all the lines eventually. Well, the majority of the lines will lead to the dot. So once you've drawn the dot, you want to begin by drawing your first building, which you do by drawing a shape, preferably a square for to make it the most simplest. So I've I've drawn this I'm drawing this square and a square has four vertices points and the goal of the drawing is to connect these to the dot. But however you do not want to connect them all the way because you'll see what it how it turns out. So with a square or a rectangle you always want to make sure the sides are parallel so by by doing that you draw a line and I like to slide the ru ruler over keeping it as straight as I can and keeping the next line parallel. So once you have this shape this square or rectangle you begin by starting from the first point which is the middle point so, as you can see, the middle point is the point that is closest to the dot, which is the bottom left in this case. So you want to line the ruler up from that point to the dot, like, th like this, and you want to draw a line not all the way to the dot, but stopping however close or far away you want it to. This will determine the height. So, after you've drawn this line, you want to draw lines from the other two as well and you want to remember that they always have to lead to the dot like this first line remember to not connect them to the dot just get as close as you want so when you draw the next two lines it's a little harder because you can't stop wherever you want you kinda have to estimate where where the, it's gonna connect and you do that by remembering that the building, each sides of the building, that like the, this one, you want to keep the second line parallel again. So you move the ruler down like this and you connect them with a parallel line, which is why you have to estimate where the second and third lines stop. And then when you connect them, that will be the bottom of the building. So to begin the third line, you do the same thing. You start from the third point and you draw you draw the basic line always wanting if you extended the line you want to remember that it will go directly to the dot however you do stop it so when you draw in the line you estimate where you want it to stop by remembering that the other side of the building, this top side that I've lined my ruler up with, you want to keep the next line parallel with that. So you move your ruler down, keeping it as straight as you can, and connect them, and you finish the bottom of the building, and you finish your first building. So now you can do the exact same thing with another, just starting the square or rectangle or whatever shape you want, which I can show you how to do later from a different spot anywhere on the paper really. So, I've drawn another building, as you can see, and I'm starting on the third one. Now I've, that I've drawn my square, you remember to connect the closest point or vertice. You want to draw that line to the dot first, stopping whatever you want the height of the building to be. Then connect the next one, doing the same thing, always leading to the dot, 
but stopping wherever you think necessary to connect the two lines that you have with a parallel line to the square. And you can even draw all three lines leading down to the point to begin without connecting them like I've done. Then you want to remember to keep the lines parallel like that and doing the same connecting each of the three lines like that. So now that we've drawn three square buildings, it's getting a little tedious, but uh, I'll show you how to draw a triangular building, which is the same concept, except it has three points, obviously, so you only connect two of them. With the squares, we're connecting three because only one is hidden behind the building, but with the triangle, there's one hidden behind and only two leading to the dot. So you draw a triangle, however, whatever kind of triangle you want. And you begin with the same thing. So after you've drawn your triangle, like I've done, you want to connect, not connect, but lead your first point to the dot. Now, some tri sometimes all three of the points on the triangle could be led to the dot. However, in this case, one of them, as you can see, if I did connect it, it would be, it in real life would be shielded behind the building, making it unrealistic if I did draw it. So now that we've drawn these two, both going to the dot, we want to make the line that connects them parallel to that line, like that. And there's a triangle. So, now that you know how to draw a building, you can draw many more and make your own city, like I've done. But when you're done, or during, I just like to do it after all the buildings have been completed, you can do decorations. So, you can draw a little helicopter pad with an H, and with an H you just have to remember that each vertical line has to be parallel to the vertical lines of the building, and same with the horizontal lines. You could draw a little pool like I've done, and just remember that all the lines in this are either parallel to another line or leading to the dot. So with the pool, there one is leading to the dot and the other two are parallel to the building. And then lastly, windows, which are pretty simple. You just begin at the top of the building and draw your line to the dot, like the start of a building, but you do it several times like this, and when, you, and when you've done that to each of the two 3D sides of the building, you go horizontally and making sure that each line, each horizontal line is parallel to the respective side of the building that it's on. And when you're done, you can figure out how to add more, you can draw more buildings, you could I don't know, add a little bird like this to make it seem more realistic, like an aerial view. But you can do whatever you want to do it to make it your own. And that's it.